What's up, YouTube? It's the one, the only, the Cave Troll, and welcome to Cave Troll's Den. Now, I got a surprise for you guys. We found the mana crap, but we're doing another one. We're doing another mystery booster box. Let's see if we can pull another mana crypt. One can hope, can't we? So, let's crack open this box and let's get to cracking this beautiful, glorious box. We're sitting at about $200 a box right now. So, I didn't pay anywhere near that. I bought them when that was around $150. So, if I can pull $150 out of value out of these, I'll be happy. But, otherwise, I'm going to regret it, of course. I'm going to wish I kept it on the shelf. When, especially when it starts hitting three, dollars $400 a booster box. In my opinion, this is one of the best sets they've ever made. Especially for the reprints in it. You got so many good hits in the common, uncommon, rare slot. So, we're going to take our time with this. And start cracking one pack at a time gotta take your time with it because they got hidden gems in between not just a rare spot in the common and uncommons there's some very valuable cards in there so we got an arrest oops inventor Renault jet so far nothing in this one mortar pod and a mouse storm angel mythic oh and a foil or no not a foil we got a Gideon Jura, another Mythic, two Mythics in that one, and then a Helix Pinnacle foil in the back. That's full rare. So, so much value in this set. Just like that. That's an example right there. Two Mythics and a full rare in the back. God, I love this set. I got a couple more boxes. Probably keep them put up for a while. Especially since they just keep going up in price, which I can't blame. So much value in this. And they're so fun to open. There's a Fireball. Captain Shardless Agent this is decent. Lightning Grease, that's good. Oh, Aurora Shards too, and uncommon. Wow. Desolation Twin Rare. And a foil morrow. Of course, the biggest hit in this will be the mana crypt. I found out that's pretty hard. It took me five boxes before I hit a mana crypt. So maybe I'm due for another one. That'd be great. Keep dreaming, right? Ah. Come on now. Temple of the False God, Dungrove Elder. Haven't hit that. Oh, yes. Yes, yes, yes. Expropriate. One card I've been looking for in the set and I haven't pulled yet. So that would definitely go in one of my commander decks. I think I'm sitting 20 bucks right now. You got a foil stigma lasher. At least we're hitting some hits in this one. I haven't hit in other boxes. So. That I'm happy about. Let's hope this is one of them gigantic boxes with like every good hit in it. It'd be crazy. I'd love it though. You'd love to see it. I'm sorry, I put my camera jumping. For, oh, seeing that zero mana cost artifact, I thought it was another mana crypt. But no, we got a Tormod's crypt. A river boa, Felidor Sovereign, and a foil one with nothing. Wow, that one got me. All right, so as I was saying, I'm sorry. It's like every card I move, my camera moves with it. Oh wow, there we go, demonic tutor. There's a thirty dollar card sitting in the middle. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. Some value in this set, let me tell you. Hammerhead. What is that? The crowd goes wild. Another battle bond card. Wafer and temper. Time sieve. Sudden demise. And we got a full hornet sting. Wow, that demonic tutor made that pack. That was beautiful. Wasn't expecting to pull it either. It's another hard one to get. That's the second one I pulled now, so I'm very happy about that. Ah, oh, my camera's so jumpy. Sorry, guys. Breeding pit. Curse Minotaur. Darkwood Ballast. Crystal Ball, we got a Bear Cub, Angel of the Dire Hour, and Gorilla Tactic Spoil. Let's see, let's see if I can fix my camera from doing that. Nope, nope I just zoomed in. Alright, I have to mess with the settings later. I've been doing that lately. Since I set up my camera a little bit higher, it wants to follow every card I scroll across the screen. Let's cancel. 
Keon Fiend, Seismic Stomp, Giant Growth, Shipwrecked Singer, Heavy Arborist, Ancient Den, and a Caged Sun. The Foil Fungusaur. Alright. Kind of went south there in those last few packs. Started off hot with that Demonic Tutor and Expropriate. Come on, we want some more big hits. What are the accursed? Lightning Talons, Blanchwood Archer, mm, Sand Steep Citadel, Eater of Days, Sword of the Animist. Ah, I've seen them artifacts back there. We got Full Pyrate Ritual. Vessel, Undying Rage, Savage Punch, Aggressive Urge, Arcane Sanctum, Athreos, God of Pathos. That's a great card. Another Mythic. Ugh, Cauldron of Souls. We're hitting them artifacts in the back, but not the one we're looking for. We want that second Mana Crypt. Still, all in all, so far this has been a solid box. Some good hits in it. But we want more. We always want more. It's a curse. Painful lesson. Foil and Earth, Wild Growth, Pouncing Cheetah, uh, Breaker of Armies, and Porphyrus. Another good mythic. Another god. Oh, Teferi in the back. Another mythic. Rune Tail, Kite Soon Ascended. Flippy card foil. Alright, this box is, is pretty good so far. About to make our money back already. Everdream, Leap Frog, Sanguine Vampire, Animate Dead, that's a good playable card. Oddfire Emissary, Juggernaut, Lotus Petal, nice. Been looking for one of these. I ain't hit one of those yet either. It's beautiful. Can we get another Zero Mana artifact back here? Nope. Speaking of immortality. And Trailblazer's Boots, spoil. Alright, not bad, not bad. Happy to see that lotus petal. Not quite a black lotus, but it's still nice to look at, right? It's a pretty card. Pondering Mage, decent. A the Fallen. Hooded Brawler. Abzan Charm. Greater Furnace. Contagion Clasp. Oh, Trading Post. Man, <laughs> teasing us with all these artifacts in the back. And a foil Zer's Weirden. Come on. Quit teasing me. I'm going to see that Mana Crypt one more time. That way I'll be comfortable not opening up the rest of these boxes. <laughs> I'm having too much fun. So if you guys like these boxes and want to see me open up more, be sure to like, comment, and subscribe. Because trust me, it's painful to open these up knowing they keep going up in value. Impending Disaster. Turn your upkeep to seven more lands in play. Sacrifice and destroy all lands. Wow. That sounds like a fun card. Serendib and Freet. The Foil Goblin Bushwhacker. All right. So a little over halfway through the box. The big hits kind of slowed down there a little bit. But I still feel like we got more coming. Strategic Planning. To Lava Mancer. Come on. Sunset Pyramid. Shaska the um, Shaka Sima the Imposter. That's a good card. Ooh, and a grave type mythic in the back. The foil Mirrodin's core. Alright, come on, Mary Crypt. Where you at? We want to hit two of you. Why? I don't know. I just go get an ever deck, and I want an ever deck. I don't care if it's a $130 card. It's getting reprinted. It's probably gonna drop in value, but still, we still want to see them. Blade Instructor, Grasp of Phantoms, Dead Eye Tormentor, Trespasser's Curse. Can we hit two Demonic Tutors? That'd be nice. Strike from Darkness, Signal of Valor. Riz the Redeem, that's good. $10 card. I'll take that. Oh, we did it! We did it! Oh, this box, this box, this box. I had a feeling this would be a big box. We did it. We hit another Mana Crypt. Wow. Wow. Man, I love this. 
Makes me want to open up the rest of my boxes. <laughs> Can we go for a duplicate mana crypt now? <laughs> I've seen that happen on YouTube before. There's somebody opened up two mana crypts in one box. Wow, I just can't believe that. This box is on fire. What other big hits can we hit? Release the ants. Oh, we did. <laughs> oh, my goodness. Teferi's Protection. There's another 30, what, almost $40 card. Holy cow. This is a monster box. Oh, I don't even care about that card. Look at this. Wow. And we still got a whole stack over here to go. I am also really happy I opened this box. <laughs> oh, yes. This is awesome. This is why these boxes are going to keep rising in price because there's just so much value in it. Wargate. This is one I haven't hit yet. Grasp of Fate. Solid card. And a foil lantern of insight. Wow, I can't believe this box. Well, I don't even know what else to ask for. I've almost hit every big hit in this thing. Look, I guess Bloom Tender is what's left. Another $30 card. Ball Therapy, that's a good card. Grape Shot. Crushing Canopy. Terminate, good. Oh, Thran Dynamo. Not quite the Mana Crypt, but it kind of looks like it when you first go in slow like I did. Oh, I thought it was another Mana Crypt. Goblin Game, that's a fun card. Thalia's Lancers and White Knight. Oh. Wow, this box. Total up the value at the end of this. I mean, this has got to be a two two hundred fifty dollar box easily. Uh, there we go, Harold's Horn. That's another almost ten dollar card in the uncommon. Flame shot. I'm not sure. I haven't seen that one yet. Ravenous trap. Oh yeah, and the <laughs> mirror entity in the back rear. Uh, what other big hits are there? I don't mind some duplication here. There's other big hits we've already been hitting. It's in the sleep. Distortion Stroke. Galvanic Blast. Strength in Numbers. Guards of Miletus. And Doom Gate. I'm not even mad. Deadly Tempest. Still, I'm not even mad. Oh, and a full Reaper King. Beautiful. All right. Ah, it don't matter how this box ends, I, I got to be happy with what I pulled. I mean, holy cow. This box, this box right here, it's the best thing I've seen. So happy with it. Faithless Looting. Migratory Route. Bottle Gnomes. Nemesis of Reason. Phyrexian Plague Lord. And a full Geth's Glimwire. All right, can we get one more big hit? We got what, three packs left. Sorry, I'm taking so long on this video. It's gonna be probably a 15, 16 minute video. But why not take your time when the box is this good? I've been through some bad ones, so it's about time I hit just a monster box. Monetary Swift, West Swift Spear, excuse me. Blah. Dark Steel Citadel, Armor. That's, I haven't seen that one yet, Mrs. Mastery. And a full amulet of vigor. There's another big hit. Not quite 30 bucks. I think it's like 15, 20 dollars somewhere in there. For a full amulet of vigor. Wow. <laughs> Holy cow. Faith feathers. Sphinx's tutelage. Impulse. Lord of Fright. Ball of a hammer take down. Emissy Tome. Font of Mythos. Wow. It's an artifact box. We just keep hitting artifacts. And collect the Brutality. Another close to $10 card. And a full Pillow Pala. Just wow. What a box. Resurrection. Swords to Plowshares. Good common there. Jason's Phantasm is another good common. Built the Smash. Sprite and Thornax. Bonesaw. The Apprentice. I ain't seen that one yet either. Good. Mirren. Another Mythic. 
and we end with an echo and decay. Wow. That was one heck of a box. So as of right now, I don't have anything I can scan these up with because I'm using my phone to record. I've got another phone. I might go grab it right quick, install the app, and scan these up for you guys just to show you the value of this box. So we'll get to that in just a moment. Be right back. All right, and I'm back. I got them scanned up. So if you can see there, we got $398.97 in value. This is every card that's 90 cents and above that I pulled from that mystery booster box. So was that the best mystery booster box you've ever seen open on YouTube? I don't know. It's a tough mark to beat. Almost $400 box for a box I paid $150 for at the time. I thought it was high then. So yeah, I think these boxes are going to keep going up in price. So I have two left. I'm debating on opening them. I uh, don't know. So if you want me to open them, be sure to like, comment, and subscribe. And I will open the rest of the boxes. Just let me know if you want me to or not. Um, I might sell off these cards and buy me two more boxes while they're at $200. So anyways, thank you guys for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed. And I'll see you around.